Hello, my name is Manuela Petrescu and I'm from Babish Boyer University. Together with my colleagues, Diana Borza and Dan Mirchasucho, we want to present a paper that we elaborated based on an entrepreneurship course. In the recent years, there's been um, interest in order to help the students to create an entrepreneurial mindset. Entrepreneurship education builds creative skills that can be applied in education in everyday life or the most important part to start a business and to run a business. We wanted to present a study that uh, elaborates and tracks how a course can be taught to a large number of undergraduate students that had different backgrounds, they have different specializations. So what we had to take some decision. First of all, we wanted to discuss about the course format. Should it be taught in a classical format with one speaker or should we have multiple experts, each on its own domain? And then we asked for feedback after each course and at the end of the course. The responses were analyzed manually and using artificial intelligence. In order to see exactly what we are dealing with, we um, presented a statistic. We had uh, more than 900 students enrolled from 17 faculties. And we had students from uh, informatics and physics and chemistry, but we also had students from sport and theology. It was interesting and a surprise for us that most of the students came from the physical education faculty. And later we find out, found out that this was the only faculty that uh, automatically enrolled its students. For all the others, the course was optional. In, with these aspects in mind, we are happy to find out that the computer science students were really interested about in this course, that were, they were the second largest group. And we assume that uh, the interest is based on their uh, on the easiness to start a business in computer science domain or computer science related. The lectures. We, as being an introductory course, we had to adapt to the students and we had to adapt to, to the fact that uh, some of them might not know anything about this domain. So we um, targeted with this target mindset we decided to have lectures like from problem to idea how to validate a solution how to sell how to check the market how to uh, and even how to present your product like public speaking techniques and emotion control in the last but not at least we had funding opportunities as I might have previously mentioned, we each lecture was taught by a different domain specialist and the computer science teacher moderated and facilitated the session. For communication, we used Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Forms for receiving feedback, receiving and asking feedback. The course was 90 minutes long and it was followed by a Q&A session. Now, uh, we were aware that uh, not all the students had the possibility to, to accommodate the time of the course in their timetable. So we uploaded and the videos, we recorded and uploaded the videos on YouTube in order to be accessible later. As uh, the methodology for us, this study, we used closed and open-ended questions. In the closed questions, we wanted to see exactly what were the students, what was their background, but we were also interested in their feelings and their perceptions, so we opted for open questions, such as how did the course help you, or what do you consider are the most important things that you've learned. 
Now, in the research questions, we, due to the fact that we proposed an innovative format, we wanted to know how the students feel about it. So, uh, the first question was, if, in their opinion, the course with adequate, the teaching methodology was adequate or not. We also wanted to know why, what were the reasons to enroll for an entrepreneurial course. And at the end, if the course managed to communicate the relevant information, if the students managed to find it and to learn some, some skills that would help them deliver and create the business. Uh, we had open questions and closed questions, as I mentioned before. Most of the students appreciated this format in which um, domain experts give lectures. However, we had some cons around 18, 13%. They said they didn't approve the lack of continuity. It was harder to assimilate that knowledge because the lecturers had different presentation styles and it was not very, the, the adapting was not very easy. In, uh, in terms of multiple, multiple speaker versus single speaker, we have um, some numbers. Most of the students appreciated having multiple speaker and appreciated this format. Now for the second questions, they, most of the students came from curiosity, and that's a good thing. And the second largest group was because they have a genuine interest, they wanted to start a business, so they need information. And uh, we had smaller groups for which the course was mandatory. And uh, as I previously mentioned, there was only, there was one faculty that automatically enrolled the students and uh, there was the other group was just just came for for some credits however the third question might be really relevant if the course met their expectation if they manage if the students manage to find relevant information and uh, we are happy to find out that most of the students reply that uh, they uh, found out everything they wanted sometimes even more i had a comment and uh, they find out how to run the business to start up to relate to the customers or how to do a pitch for a product there was a very small group in our opinion only three students from 103 that they mentioned that they did not have the relevant information and or the course did not map their expectations. We analyzed the responses. We did it manually. As you've seen in the previous slide, there were some comments that we took into consideration. But we also decided to, to use artificial intelligence. Their answers were in Romanian and some in English. So we had to take uh, into consideration that aspect and we used a uh, language detection. We translate the Romanian answers with Google a Translate API. Why do we need this? All the answers we have to be in English in order to use Google NLP sentiment analysis. We analyzed the answers and based on their, we established that um, around 60% had neutral feelings, 32 were positive about the cost, and 8% uh, around 8% had negative feelings in the final course of. In conclusion, we had a survey for a course hold held in a very specific and unusual environment. 
we opted online, large number of students, different backgrounds, different colleges, multiple speakers. So uh, the organizational effort was a um, consistent one. And uh, each course was facilitated by a computer science teacher. However, our efforts seem to have paid off because the course have met students' expectations and uh, most of them appreciated the information they received and uh, they, uh, they wanted to start a business. So, in the end, I want to thank you for your time and if you have any questions, please ask or you can send us by email. Thank you.